Oh. I'm too tired for this, man. The stomach is too warm for this. <laughs> oh. If you haven't seen Monday's episode, I recommend watching it because we did the ghost pepper challenge. You first should of watch all. it. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Unscripted. Provost Rosemith, now just please enjoy the show. Wait. It's not edited. Except for Nathan Provost accidentally ending green screen. Welcome to. Um, unscripted episode 127. Yeah. It's Wednesday. The background is from Chris Christopher Buettner. And the intro is from Nico Raymont. That was a lovely intro. Thank you for that, Nico Raymont. I do really like that intro. And and the background, actually. That's a really cool background. Uh, first question? Yeah. Uh, question number? One. Xander Piers asks, heaven or hell? I guess it's an obvious is that like what you prefer? Is that what it's asking, or is it asking where I think I'm gonna go? I don't know. It's a very vague question. It is. I would prefer to go to heaven, but I feel like I'm somewhere in between. But I feel like I'm more likely to go to hell. What? I j- I feel like I'm a bad person. Oh, I feel like my stomach is in hell right now. <laughs> Dude, if, it, it really feels like... Like, have you ever had heartburn? Yeah. It feels like that all in my stomach. So much. Uh, heaven for every answer. You're going to go to heaven? Maybe. Hopefully. Question number... Two. The guy in room 10 asks, I'm going to middle school and I'm kind of nervous. So do you have any advice for me? Um, didn't they have a good mythical morning episode? Where they answered questions about, like, advice for going into middle school. Or, no, for going into high school, actually. Uh, I think, maybe. Yeah, I think they did. Um, um, watch that, <laughs> first of all. And, um... Just, um... Don't be scared. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's... Middle school is better than elementary school. You know, you get... You don't have to sit in the same classroom pretty much all day. I mean, you switch classes. Yeah. Middle school can be fun. Um, Middle school is fun. Don't Trust me. take things too personally. Like, if someone's calling you names or whatever, like, just try not to care. Like, don't take it personal, because you know what? You are awesome. Everyone has awesome qualities. Just think about, think about your good qualities when they're insulting you. True. And, um, maybe that won't happen to you, either. Um, try, try to stick with your true friends. And, uh, don't, don't let people peer pressure you into things that you don't feel comfortable doing. Yeah. No matter what it is. Like, I don't care if you think it would be a good thing or a bad thing. Like, or, well, I mean, if they argue that it's a good thing or a bad thing. If, if you don't feel comfortable doing it... Even if you, uh, I'm trying. How do I explain this? What's like a, an example of like something that some people would consider a good thing that someone might not want to be peer pressured into doing? Like, uh, like taking an honors class when you know you can't handle it. Like, don't force yourself into doing something that you can't handle. Yeah. But like, um, also, don't be stupid. Don't like take hard drugs. Dude, whatever. Dude, I. Yeah, I think it's, dude. Listen, I mean, I'm still in school, so I should be taking his advice more. But don't, don't be like, oh, I gotta go to school every day, because before you know it, it'll be over. And and I know adults say this, um, but I mean, dude, you're just you're just starting middle school. This is this is a good early time to start. Just think of school as a positive thing. Yeah. You know? I'm like that guy we met at Sears. I've always been kind of like that. Like, I'm not the kid who sits all the way in the back of the class, plays, you know, you know, plays around with my friends, you know, throwing, you know, whatever. 
I'm the kind of person that, I mean, I had a lot of friends in school, but I'm the kind of person that just sits right up front. I just, I want to learn. I want to get my education. I want to have that all that knowledge, so then when I move on, I can use it. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of like somewhere in between. I'm like, I'm like a B student, I guess. B, B minus. But, I don't know, just try your best. Try to pay attention. Even if it does seem boring, it's probably actually important that you pass the class and everything. Middle school and high school. Uh, maybe after that. Probably the funnest times of your life. Yeah. So, make fun out of it. Yeah. That's it. I'm trying to think of more stuff, but... Well, you can change the slide, so I guess we're moving on. Question number three. <laughs> Mr. Yokosuma asks, will you remake the battle Eminem versus Macklemore? I won't. <laughs> I don't think so, because, especially because we used Eminem again in the Marshmallow versus Slim Shady battle. Well, you didn't use Eminem, you used Slim Shady and Marshmallow, which is different. No, it's not. Well, you, you know this, too. Well, if that's not different than putting Slim Shady against Marshall Mathers, it's like putting Drake against Drake. <laughs> like, it's, it, no, if you're see, arguing it's the same person, no, then it's no. the same person. People, people do get confused by it. Eminem is just the artist name for Marshall Mathers. Eminem is no... Eminem, if you say Eminem versus Marshall Mathers... You might as well just be saying Eminem versus Eminem or Marshall Mathers versus Marshall Mathers because it's it's just a different name. It's the same as that person. Slim Shady is an actual alter ego. But both Marshall Mathers and Slim Shady can be known as just Eminem in general. I know. You get I just, it? I got it and like, I was just trying to irk you and make you explain things. Well, I was going to explain it anyway, because I did want to clarify, because there were a lot of comments from people who were like, Yeah. The same person. It's, it's a terrible battle. Like, I wanted you to explain that, but no, I, I knew that. You know I knew that. Which hurt. <clears throat> Question number... Four. Seaman1512 asks, Who do you think would win a rap battle? Me or Team Avatar112? Oh, yeah, someone is actually making them face each other in a rap battle. I have no idea, actually. You know, that probably sounds really annoying. I'm just copying you. You were doing that earlier. Well, I, I was actually brushing stuff <laughs> off. There was stuff on here. Um, oh gosh. I'm going to feel bad no matter what I say. No. Uh, I don't know. Well, okay. I'm going to be brutally honest. I think Cody will. <laughs> okay. I, I, think... I just think you're too nice, and I don't know if you can insult. Well. I think... Connor will then. Now they both feel honored. Okay. Now Cody's like, oh, she thinks I'm going to win. And, and Connor's like, oh, he thinks I'm going to win. Now they're both happy. See, we make everybody happy on this show. All right. So you're Team Seaman. <laughs> you're Team Seaman. I'm Team Seaman. And I'm Team Team Avatar 112. Whoa. <laughs> no, you're Team Scorpio. Yeah, because. Yeah. I should, probably shouldn't be touching my That's face That's why he's going to win, because we're both Scorpios. <laughs> Question number five. Magic Bolt 1 says, name a movie and song that represents your life. Oh, because that's not really a question. I was like, why does that say says instead of asks? But oh, it feels so it. nice to burp. Does it really? Dude, it felt so nice to puke. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it just, it was relief. Um... Name um, a movie and song that represents your life. I, I like this. Um, but I, I don't know what to say for it. Um. For a song, Forever by Drake. Really? Featuring Kanye West. Because think about it. I want to be a rap artist. I was trying to think of a song. I want to be a rap artist. And like that whole song is about the stages you go through. True. Um. That kind of. Sort of. That's close. What about a movie? Get, probably movie. Um. Um. 
bawling uncontrollably. That song explains my life. And, um, The Hangover is a movie that explains my life. A lot of people probably don't know Ballin' Uncontrollably. That's an unreleased album. That's a secret Eminem album. Yeah, true. You should look that song up, though. It's you pretty should. It's catchy. It's weird. so... It's funny. It's dumb. Ah, uh, movie, movie, movie. I don't know what movie represents my life. Um... Yeah, I really don't The know. new Annie movie. <laughs> Why the new one specifically? Or are you just... Because it's Ratchet. ratchet? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I really don't know how to answer this with a serious answer. Eight Mile. Really? No. <laughs> I was like, how? Um. Um. Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> that works for you. <laughs> oh man. I have no idea. Um. I honestly think that's the best answer I can give for a movie. <laughs> Um, there's a song that's been stuck in my head all week, and but it doesn't represent my life. The boys always spending all their money on love. Okay, I have no answer for movie. There is no movie out there that represents my life. That's how boss I am. <laughs> what about song? Oh wait, you I said, said forever. forever. Yeah. Um. Song. Oh, you didn't say song yet. What's a song that? It's me. Um. What's this song? <laughs> no, no, no. You know what goes with Napoleon Dynamite and represents my life? What? I'm awesome. You're not do don't. You know that song? Remember that song that was really big a few years ago? Wait, what song? I think it's called I'm Awesome. How's it go? I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. Run around in my mom's ride. Like he just never heard he just says life. how much he sucks, and he's like, I'm awesome. I've never heard that. In my really? Life. That that was like big, big when we were like, it was probably in like fifth grade, fifth sixth grade. Like it was it was a while ago, but it was they like played it on the radios and stuff. <laughs> That so explains your life. I don't know. I don't think that song has a name, but it's a song. I don't think it has lyrics or anything. Oh, that was it. That's it. That's it. Thanks for watching episode number 127. Comments your questions down in the comment section below, not up in the search bar or the address bar. I don't know. I think it might be a good idea to. Search them in the address bar. I feel like they'd get more accurate answers. Because if you think about it, Google's probably smarter than us. No? <laughs> make and send us backgrounds and intros. Try to keep your intros less than 30 seconds. And make sure they're size... 1920, 1920 by 1080. 1080. We cannot stress that enough. Because we don't get a lot of backgrounds that that size exactly it's kind of a problem kind of a problem it's not friday yet why does it say that why'd you bring that up because we're about to i honestly think we should oh no never mind that's a bad idea wait what were you gonna say we should just keep it going but when they're long that's not a good idea. yeah gods over the yeah